Greetings from a firegram. So, right after I left, mere moments it seems to me something happened at a plant department. Do not ask. As such, I need you to fill in today, basically as a grim for them. I hope it's okay. Quota for the day. Three hu plants have to die. Good luck, fate. Alright, so fate left in charge is cat. So, we have to kill three plants. I feel like this is easier to figure out who needs to kill, who needs to die. Because they're just plants, they're not like anything else. But also this thing here says, why are the bees disappearing? I'm wondering if one of these plants are killing them. Uh, so this is a Dio, Dionaya, Mus, Muscupola? Uh, it's a Venus flytrap. A Venus flytrap is hidden in the grass next to a small path of the local honey farm. It almost got stepped on by a farmer, a dog, a horse, and two children. It was, it has good living conditions with plenty of food available every day. So this is next to a honey farm, a honey farm, and people are wondering why the bees are disappearing. I don't think this is going to cause all the bees dying out, so I think this is fine. The Quercus is a really large and old oak tree in the Cosmopolis City Dog Park. It is home to a family of squirrels while also providing a safe place for the local cat that likes to watch dogs and their owners walk by. I like the Quercus. I'll leave it alone. So we have to kill three of these plants. The Jovi Barba Globifera, with a common name, Rolling Hen and Chick, is a tiny succulent who likes sunbathing. It lives on the seaside between the rocks next to the seagull's nest. Remember moving and enjoying the small things in life, like not being eaten by a snail or not having a seagull scream at, them, scream at it at the moment. I feel like you're a good candidate for death. The Shefflera? Shefflera? also known as Lisa, is a houseplant of a photography student. In many cases, it has never been over or underwatered. However, it has quite a high tolerance for neglect and gro poor growing conditions. Its main hobbies are photosynthesis and people watching. And the last one is the Allopicurus, also known as the meadow foxtail, is grass. I swear, if I ever have to make another file about a blade of grass, I'll quit. Okay. I mean, out of all of these, I feel like these these three are the ones we can kill. Like, this is fine. I'm gonna let this one live because it's home for a squirrel. It's a good looking tree. We'll let it live. No, I know. Um, is this like, do we kill all the grass? Don't kill grass. I mean, grass is just a weed. Like, it just grows everywhere. Is it like every single piece of grass? It's been a long, it's been alive for forever. Look at this. Wait, oh, that, never mind. That's the age. It's just all these grass. Okay, well, maybe we won't kill the grass. So that means I have to kill all these other ones. So I'll let this one die. Well, drop that. So we'll put this over here. Cause yeah, that's just a house plan. This is pest control. It kills flies. I don't think it's gonna kill bugs or the, the bees. So we'll just do this. I wonder if the pest killer is killing the bees. It's true, but I also think it it kills the pests that kill the bees. That's why I'm like half and half on this because like it could be killing something that's actually killing the bees. I doubt it's killing the bees. Yeah, I, if I only kill this one blade of grass, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna do that. So we, we made our choice, right? Yeah, okay. Wait, before we do. There we go. Oh, sorry. Just looking at chat. All right, kitty cat. Let's talk to you. Give me my monies. Oh my God, this cat. The cat lies sprawled on the table, ignoring your presence. My gods, you are just so incredibly cute and fluffy. 
Cough politely. So, wake up, cat. I'm supposed to report to you. Um. So, the cat slowly rotates herself. Meow, she mutters, then places her paw upon some documents littering the table. The cat repeats a sequence of contented meows. She then curls back into a ball and closes her eyes. <gasps> I can give her the gift? We might as well be on good graces with this cat. I'm definitely gonna give her my rubber gerbil. Lady and Pinton eyes grow wide and dark as you place the gerbil on the table. She pats the chew toy with her paw. Squeak, the rubber toy squeaks eerily. Uh, see you tomorrow, I guess? The cat eagerly stares at the toy gerbil, fully ignoring your presence. Squeak, the toy gives out a sad noise as you make your way out the door. Just gave that cat my gerbil. Ooh, I got 400 coins. Maybe that was a good thing to do. Okay, so I have seven hundo. I kind of want to save it for maybe like this or something better. So let's go to sleep. I lost my squeaky toy, but I guess that's fine, right? Whoa, what did I get? Yeah, I was this uh, pop art sort of thing. Okay. Cool. Let's end the day. Let us go to the bottom of the basement and see what they have for sale. Ah, perhaps you require a delightful gift for a significant friend. Oh, the calvary is cool. I could get the room, uh, the radio. I don't know. I kind of want to just save my money. There's some really cool stuff that is really expensive. So just leave it alone. All right, we're here for the day. Put my money in my drawer. God, now we have people again. All right, let's see. Bees on the verge of extinction, again. New tree planted in Cosmopolis City local dog park. Look at this cute video of angry cat eating grass and meowing at the same time. Charity auction to take place in rural Cosmopolis. Bring your friends. Hmm, okay. All right, back to normal. The plant department got their act together. You, however, should be in intimately familiar with the drill by now. We mitigate chaos, we bolster order. Two humans have to die. All right, so two humans have to die. So half. So let's see, we have Isling Pole. When just a kid, Isling went through a terrifying earthquake. Obstinate by nature, they decided to confront their fear by studying to be a seismologist. Uh, these days they lead a research team at the Mountainhead Earthquake Monitoring Station. I feel like that's very important. Uh, Rufus, gone are the days of descending into dark depths of the deep caverns, drill in hand, but Rufus remembers them fondly nonetheless. It was a time of danger, but also exploration and accomplishment. Now retired, Rufus spends all their time in an old folks' home, dispirited. Oh no, Rufus, why? <laughs> oh, Rufus. Uh, he seemed pretty easy to kill. I feel bad, but he seems pretty easy to kill, right? Uh, Nyjah is secretly researching a genetical combining, the genetical combining of plant and animals. In addition to mammals capable of photosynthesis and sunflowers with ears, they are also dreaming of a pet hedgehog with an actual hedge instead of spines. So far, the research has been costly, but they believe that it's for the greater good. Their colleagues are on high alert. Ooh, that's a uh... kill the seismologist. Then the earthquake makes him important again. Well, no, if we, we don't want them to, we don't want people to die. If we can kill one person and save like a couple hundred, I'd rather do that. Nyjah just wants to make a living Chia pet. Right, Brian? Gross, also gross. Chia pets are creepy. Uh, Mavis is a grandparent with an estranged grandchild named Guy, whom they, with whom they seek to reconcile. After retirement, they move to calm country home where they spend most of their time knitting they own a marvelous collection of porcelain. Hmm. I mean, this feels pretty easy after last time. I feel like these two need to die and these two live. I feel like she's definitely gonna live because she's actually doing a really good job. She's a seismologist. Her job's important. This is a little too creepy though. Nyjah, 
Like splicing animals with plants? You want the Chia pet to survive? <laughs> Guys. What if she creates like a chimera and it just like destroys the world? Full Metal Alchemist vibes? Oh no, that was like the saddest thing. <laughs> that wouldn't be cool, Brian. All right, fine. But if she does something stupid, this is on you, chat. This is on you if she does something real stupid. Alright, well, the two sweet grandparents are dying. Oh yeah, I lost my squeaky toy. You take full responsibility if she ends the world. You know she's going to. Oh, we're having another one of these thoughts. <laughs> Psst. Hey, we don't like what we see. It's suspicious. Uh, what is? I'm a suspicious reaper at heart, you know that? I trust and obey. What is? All of it. The profiles, the tasks, the chats. Too clean. Pristine. What a wreck. Listen to us, reaper. Not the others. Shh. Oh. They're probably eavesdropping right now. I didn't even see what she said. Let's be off. Ah, crap. I didn't even see what she said. <gasps> oh my god, this cat is so cute. As you enter, the cat is whacking the chew toy aggressively with her paws. Squeak, squeak, the toy cries in the most despondent voice possible. You sure enjoy bashing that toy? Ah, I still can't believe how fluffy you are. I'm here for the daily feedback thing. Hey cat, let's do this. Well, you sure enjoy bashing that toy. Meow. The cat admits and lets another fall. Let's fall another hammer blow onto the toy. Squeak the little gerbil that responds in pain. Uh, the toy doesn't seem to enjoy you bashing it. Anyways, I'm here for the daily thing. <laughs> with majestic grace, the cat lowers his head onto a pile of documents. Meow. The cat notes with while casually twirling around on her spot, pawing at the table. I'll take this to mean that I'm doing well. Still not sure that this is valuable use of my time. Uh, I guess I'm doing well. The cat caresses, caressly stretches and shakes herself and seems more or less pleased. A swift nod towards the door with her head makes it clear you should be leaving. Okay. Dude, that raise. Um, I don't think there's anything good downstairs, so I'm just gonna end the day. Alright, let's see. We can buy first. I, this port offers the best trades in the universe. So, we have a lamp. The infernal luminary reveals that which is deeply hidden. Once you've already made the choices and are passing through again. Oh, Elsa could show can't show much. Oh, so when we beat the game, if we play this game again, this will actually show us hidden things. Interesting. Here, that's cool. It's fair as I. Should we buy it? Let's get it. Ever been to the land of dunes, ye scallywag? There be ancient civilizations under the sand sometimes. Once I dug out this particular golden icon. All while I was digging, the owls of the world eater <coughs> rang in my ears. But I persisted. Dug until me fingers cracked. No stopping. Till the riches were secured. Ah, tis truly a wondrous thing. Turns your own head into a jackal. Ooh. Let's go be a jackal. Look at the march of death. Bones of the living ground into dust. Who is this supposed to be? A dust storm that suffocates any remaining breaths. Um. What? Gaze upon what you have brought instrument of pain don't you think this whole business is remarkably dehumanizing i'm not even human an uncaring office of eternal bureaucracy 
picking and choosing lives. Yeah, this place is awful. It's efficient. Love structure. I love order. Don't care as long as the job gets done. Uh, it's efficient. What makes you think you're... Know that they are getting it right. Throwing out innumerable rules and quotas with no oversight whatsoever. Um... And you think I should do something? No, you're just being overly dramatic. Mmm, tasty carnage. No, you're being dramatic. And you are oblivious and gullible. Let us know if you come eye to eye with a solution. Good seeing you. Alright, let's see what we got. <gasps> yes! Oh, these are good heads. Look at these heads. Let's be the fox. Foxy. Alright. We look good. Maybe it's supposed to be Persephone? Maybe. Uh-oh. Many lives saved. A dedicated researcher warns Cosmo Cosmopolis City of in the nick of time. So I told you, the seismologist would save people. Science community calls to increase funding of the mountain head lives will be saved. Uh, fire at the Astrarium Assisted Living Facility claims one life. Miniature fast-breeding hedgehogs with poisonous spines are eating everything. You guys! I told you this would be bad. Price's collection of mice and porcelain donated to local museum. Okay, that's pretty good. But come on. Go to jail, Brian. Go to jail. <laughs> Go to jail. <laughs> Good morning, Grim. I see your hands were, uh, will be kept busy. Yes, tragedy and catastrophes happen more often than anyone prefer. Yes. Yet in the very end, it is all fair, is it not? Quota. Three humans have to die. Spare anyone with a medical background. Okay. Anybody with a medical background. So she's a paramedic. The Atlantis dentist okay so these two have to be spared why is his in red is it my Mikhail Mikhail I, I can't pronounce his name has been a dedicated worker at the okay Grim yes you listen why are you such a tool sitting at your desk going all over the profiles like a moneless drone? It's time to break the rules. I want you to doom all the profiles today. All of them. Prove you're not completely useless. Oh. But this wasn't signed by fate. This is signed by somebody else. Now I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to do my job. Alright, so Anais claims a dog ate her diploma and everyone just, ha just has to believe that they're an actual dentist. To look like they know what they're doing, NIS just drills random teeth on patients. Oh my god. Anita, fearless, intrepid, audacious. All these words are fit to describe Anita. Recently graduated into a paramedic job, they enjoy resting into any dangerous situation to provide any medical assistance as quickly and efficiently as possible. Look, look, you guys. Alive, I'm not dooming everybody. All right, so I have to spare anyone with a medical degree. You're the worst, Anais. But you have to survive. And then three humans have to die. Despite the liberal arts, art, uh, liberal arts education, Sky works in the space industry writing programs to analyze satellite data to live with their spouse and cats. Any spare time they have enjoy sitting in the hot tub. That sounds nice. Jail focuses on researching red dwarfs and the possibility of finding habitable planets in their systems. As a lifelong science fiction fan, they were sad but accepting of their children and dressing up as bow-wielding fair folk for a fantastical novel. That's hilarious. Zia spends most of the time at work per uh, reprimanding everyone. In their free time, they're developing a quantum firewall, hoping that the piece of technology will help get them rich and go down in history. It also means they could stop yelling at people due to bad passwords. Um, I feel like red dwarfs is a pretty interesting thing. Satellite data is pretty good. This seems interesting. Quantum firewall. 
This guy. All right, well, only one person, like, um, three people have to die, so there's only one person left to kill, or to, to decide who lives. Kill the red paper. I feel bad because this guy could be really nice. We don't know his background. We don't know his background. He could be a really nice dude. Um. What the hell's a quantum firewall? If the poppy stomping factory, Brian, go to jail. It says postal worker. <laughs> uh. All right. Well. I feel bad, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna let him live. And then the rest of these guys die. There we go. I did it. It's buzzwords, it's true. I'm doing my job. As you enter, you see the cat prone and eyeing the rubber toy with utmost suspicion. All of a sudden, she turns her attention to you, you, a devious glimmer in her eyes. The cat continues to stare, her tail waggling in a manner that seems pleased. Uh, all those deaths, that was awful. Today went well. I think I even feel a bit proud. The hell, cat? What was even today? What was even today? Lady Poddington sits in silence, her accusatory look in her eyes. Hey now, I'm not to blame. What, you think I caused that whole mess somehow? I don't think I'm to blame. I think I did a good job. The cat continues in si continues her silence. How could I have caused this? I do not- I do what I'm told. No way, cat, I did not make a mistake. Look, I do what I'm told. The cat rotates her head slowly to the right. Oh, don't give me that look. I'm a good worker. Oh, did I cause all these deaths? Whatever. I'm a good worker. She slowly rotates her head to the left. Why am I even yelling at a cat anyways? The cat blinks. I have to contact fight. I need answers. The cat stretches her paw at the odd looking telephone at the table. Uh, pick up receiver. You recognize a familiar voice, although it sounds grainy, filtered through the old fashioned apparatus. Yes. Why is someone calling me through the office phone? The phone is for emergencies only. This is an emergency. I think I messed up somewhere. Hey, Fate, so I may have caused, up, caused a few excessive deaths. Maybe. Hello? Hello? Damned contraption. Never works. Why do I even have it? Listen, whoever you are, uh, it is probably grim. Okay, whatever happened, whatever you did, you probably did not cause it all by your lonesome. Okay. Things always happen in the world, so, you know, do not worry. You can always choose better tomorrow. Okay. Uh, but really, I'm not that sure. Okay, that's way off my mind. Fate has already hung up on me. Lady Poddington utters a bewildered meow, then performs the closest thing to a cat that cat can do to a shrug. You had your chance, now it's time to leave. I don't know, like, I didn't kill all those people. I think I did my job pretty well. We already bought an eye, so let's just go to bed. I feel like it was like whoever is writing me these thoughts in my mirror that caused it to fuck up. I should have kept that squeaky toy. Look. Ahoy, matey. Oh, we could be a What cat. can old Mortimer offer ye today? All right. I think we should buy this. We have enough for both. So let's do this. We'll get the we'll get the, the This tale the is eraser. beyond reproach. We were sailing the high seas when we found a shipwreck full of these off the coast of the wild wakes. It has power to erase even the most dreadful of mistakes. Used it to erase one of my risky love letters. And you know what? Never heard from the love interest again. 
Amazing little thing. The mirrors just are subconscious. Or subconscious? You know, I have been ignoring my subconscious. Because ain't nothing out there that frightens me. Once we looted an ancient tomb for gods and kings long forgotten. And you know what, matey? Found there the most particular set of ears. Wernum gives ye supernatural hearing. Happened to overhear a mutineer plot that very night. So I threw them all right overboard. Plotting with the fishes now they are. <laughs> are you guys implying that killing the red person killed all the people? Is that what it is? Because I thought I... I told two of them to at least survive. All right, so we're going from dog to cat. Oh my god. I thought we'd actually be a cat, not a cat person. But I guess this is fine. We are now Pankuka. I wish I had a better suit. We are now Pankuka. I got an oops eraser. Put that in there. All right, meet young Anita, the medic who saved many lives after the recent earthquake, all thanks to the morning, morning from Mountainhead. So yeah, not everybody died, just the people that we intentionally killed. Another hack at Suburbia, thousands of login details leaked once again. Ooh, window shopping for planets. Could be, could this planet be our future home? Analyst drowns in hot tub. Police suspect alcohol abuse as the culprit reminded uh, people to drink responsibly when swimming. Weather satellite crashes during orbital insertion. Our budget cuts to blame. Check out these awesome personal jetpacks. All right, so we saved a lot of people from the earthquake, which is great. So, look, we did it. Good day, Grim. The world is a wondrous thing. You would not believe what I have seen out here, even within these ruins. Now, would you kindly try to help out the survivors of the turmoil of yesterday? Three humans have to die, spare any students. An unforeseen logic guides our hand, but a logic nonetheless, fate. Okay. Three humans save students. Electrician, field hand. All right, here's a student. Here's a student. Neurosurgeon, system analyst. All right, let's read these students before we make our decision. Uh, Saskia has a penchant for studying in general. They're not really trying to get anywhere achieving anything specific at the moment. They're just learning all that comes from within their field. This approach may at least get them on the college challenge quiz team. Okay. So three of these humans have to die. Uh, Chumwala is a charismatic opinion leader among their peers. They use this characteristic to affect campaigns for things that they are, think are right. These topics include reducing the use of plastic, banning beige shorts, and stopping God. Oh God. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Out of spite, I want to kill her. Oh. How can you be anti vax in this day and age? Oh my God. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Oh no, I, yeah, you know what? <laughs> you can live. Alright, there, we've done it. <laughs> oh no. Oh. I love that chat is so with the, you can't be anti-vax. Oh my goodness. Like, you know, reducing pla plastics? Fine. Beige shorts? Whatever. But anti-vax? No. Right, we have a child prodigy who has been performing brain surgery since the age of 18. They're well established as a medical professional in academia and practice. Edwald is addicted to adrenaline and is well known for taking great personal risk. Oh my god. You're like house. Uh, Kagosi? Is on the verge of finishing proposal for a delivery system infrastructure based on a low-cost drones. It would use cutting-edge drones to safely and effectively transport food from stores and restaurants to people. They got the idea of looking at a stressed food delivery person on a bike. Oh, hell yeah. Come on, let's go. Alright. Let's see. Arcadius lives in the life 
lives the life uh, country music musicians always brag about. Blue denim jeans, red truck, and closeness to earth. Still, an hourly large amount of their time is spent with their scarecrow. They like drinking cheap and watery beer. It's gross. It's gross. Uh, Serena, an avid electronics enthusiast, has continued working as an electrician well into their retirement. Although their grand keeps keep telling them to retire, especially due to bad eyesight, their love of the job always wins. That sounds like our electrician. He's a great guy. His name is Wayne. But he's starting to get to a point where I'm worried about Wayne. Also, Babanaki, thank you so much for that resub. Greetings from Cyprus. Oh my goodness. You guys, drop them bears. All right, so two of these people have to die. I feel like he has to live. Even though, I feel like he has to live. Yeah, save the electrician or house. I mean, he's a brain surgeon, but she's just an electrician. I feel like if anybody's gonna be doing something, it's house. There we go. And then you, you probably die drinking all that watery beer. Alright. <gasps> Mr. Flame! Two years! Drop them bears! Thank you so much for that resub. Yeah, the electrician was gonna die anyways, right? The cat seems to be in a slumber, occasionally emanating a soft snore like purr. Seemingly in sleep, she swings her languid paw at the rubber toy. Squeak, squeak, the toy laments their misery. I feel you, rubber toy. Uh, I feel you, rubber toy. The cat snorts in her sleep. Squeak, the rubber gerbil complains. Huh? Is it just squeaking on its own now? Slowly, the cat lifts her head, turning to stare right at you. You almost make out of the visage of the ghostly, mischievous grin. After pause, the cat sluggishly sniffs the usual pile of documents waiting on the table. The cat continues inspecting the documents for a few seconds, then turns away, seemingly pleased. Hey, can I ask you some questions instead? The cat stares at you, slowly blinking. Uh, what do you think of fate? Why am I talking to this cat? What am I doing? I should just leave. Um, why am I still trying to talk to this cat? The cat emits a sequence of low-pitched meows, possibly indicating her value as a discussion partner. She blinks at you, perplexed. This was informative. The cat curls back into a ball and continues a previously disturbed slumber. At least I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid like $400 to do this. 